Hola people, Bree Slay here, aka The Beauty Plug, all that connects you to your beautiful, and listen, I did a crazy fragrance haul. We talking about Christian Louboutin, we talking about some new Marc Barrios, we talking about some new Valentino, we talking about some some stuff, okay? So, if you are interested in finding out about my fragrance haul that I did for my birthday coming up for the month of October, because my birthday is all month, in fact, it's all year, then I'm... Um, Come on now, you know what to do. Hey y'all, hey, how are you? I miss y'all. So, this What's New Wednesday is gonna be on my fragrance haul that I did. Now, my birthday is coming up for the month of October and Fragrance is very important to me. It's nostalgic. Every year for my birthday, whether it was birthday, Valentine's Day, Christmas, but especially for my birthday and Valentine's Day, my mom would take me to Macy's, Bloomingdale's, Neiman, wherever, and say, pick out a perfume because she knows that's what I loved, right? So, and before that, we would go to Victoria's Secret, right? And she'd be like, here, here's the limit before I got my own little Victoria's Secret, little Victoria's Secret car when I was in um, high school. Um, before I got my car when I was graduated high school, my mom would be like, here, here's your budget, go and, and I would get all this Amber Romance, Love Spell, that was my signature. Anyway, I digress, but I went and hauled some fragrances, baby. You listening to me? Everything, okay? So one of them I'm gonna unbox with you, and the others I've already smelled and one of them I've worn, the other one I have, the other ones I haven't worn, but I tested in the store and I bought them. So we're going to start off with the newest one that I have worn and I put it on yesterday. Now, let me tell you something. This fragrance, it came in this little packaging. It's a small bottle. This is um, a one fluid ounce. Baby, this little one fluid ounce was $160 with tax. For one fluid ounce okay and it's by a, a, a designer and it just came out it's a brand that just like literally just released mark antoine mark antoine Barrios, okay and it is a parisian brand okay and the name of this fragrance is called tilia baby <laughs> bring this down bring y'all down a little bit baby when I tell you this fragrance is all the things, if before I read the notes, if you are a lover of Valaya, if you are a lover of Florina Cartique, you are going to love this. Valaya is my one of my signature scents. I'm up to bottle number three. I absolutely adore Valaya. Okay? By Parfum Somali. And this scent right here, if you took Valaya and took Florina Cartique and put it together, you would have this. It's... Let me just read you the notes. Top notes of lime, lime, linden blossom, jasmine sandback, and broom. And I think believe broom is like a flower. Middle notes of heliotrope, vetiver, and orange blossom. And base notes of um, ambroxan. I believe it's an ambroxan or ambrofix. Ambrofix is a, I'm sorry, ambrofix is, I guess it's a, um, a man-made. And jigori wood. Listen. Baby. Yo. If you took Valaya, Florina Cartique, and Fresh Laundry and put it in a bottle, this is what you have. I sprayed it on me, right? I said, let me spray it. And then I walked over. I went into the Burberry store. And I had just hit the store. The lady had to be at least 300, 400 feet away from me. Or maybe a little bit further. I don't, I don't do that math. But... She said, you smell so good. Then I was with a friend of mine. My friend said, what's that? You smell so good. I knew from that I had to get it. So if you see me paying $160 for this look, I don't care. I got it. Everything. I wore it yesterday. Everything. Do you hear me? You listening to me? I'm putting this on my birthday list because somebody going to get me the big bottle of that. That's it. That's how that's going to go. I'm going to put this on a birthday list. 
divine, amazing, delicious. I need it. It's so fresh, but warm and clean and delicious and sweet and floral. If you are a Valaya girl, you are going to absolutely positively adore this. Okay? So go on ahead and go and get it. Tell somebody to go get it for you. Get your hand on a sample of this. Go on ahead. This is the one, the two, the three, four, five to a hundred. Go on ahead and get you this right here. Again, this is Talia by Marc Antoine Barrios. Okay. Now the next one I'm going to talk about, the next two that I got. These are not new on the market, but they're new to my collection. They were released in 2020. And this particular designer is known for his red bottoms, his shoes, okay? And he makes bags, he makes, you know, menswear, women's wear, but he's known for his red bottoms that I have one or two pairs of. And I bought one of his fragrances a while back and I didn't even bother to do a review on it because, and I wound up returning it. But then when I was in Neiman Marcus, I said, you know what, let me go by there and check it out again. See this box? You see that? Mm-hmm. So the these two fragrances that I got originally I was gonna get another one, but then I sprayed these two and I was like, you know what, let me let them sit. And one of the fragrances that I got is called Is this one the right one? Yes. This one is called Luby. Is this Luby Kiss or Luby Do? I'm sorry. This is Luby. Luby Do is this one. So Luby Do, if you guys know my scent profile, I like a whole bunch of different scents. But I love woody, I love sweet, and I love warm. Okay? And if you can combine all those three things in one, you got me sold, okay? If it's floral, it has to be floral and sweet. And I usually like white, gravitate towards white florals and it has to have some vanilla in it. But let me tell you something. Luby Doo. Luby Doo has notes. It's three notes in here that are listed on Fragrantica. Strawberry, rose, and cedar. First of all, look at this beautiful bottle. It's a little gato up here with a little lipstick, okay? I'm gonna take out the bottle. The bottle is really thick and heavy. Um, this is a 3.04, so this is a three point, a three fluid ounce bottle. Inside you have a travel case that if you wanna travel with the bottle and you don't wanna bring this, you can bring your travel bottle. I'm not traveling with this. This is gonna look, can you see that? Cause it's coming to focus. See that? This is going to look amazing on my dresser. Listen, you can smell the rose, you can smell the cedar, and then there's still a sweetness to it where you can smell the strawberry. And so the woman there said, if you are a fan of Alaya, you are more than likely also going to appreciate this. And when I tell you I do, I do. It's soft. Now, I can't attest to the longevity yet because I have not worn it out. But I love it. I'm actually going to spray it. Spray it on me right here. Check out the automizer. Now, it's a little coin. I bought both of these products for... Yeah, you definitely get that rose and cedar. I bought these for... Both of them came out to about $6.80 something or whatever. Listen, my birthday's coming. I'm turning the big mind your business. I'm not telling y'all. And I said, I'm doing it. Okay, so that is Luby Doo. Okay, Luby Doo has rose in it. It has some woody notes in it, but it also has a tart sweetness to it. And I think that's where the strawberry comes in. So if you are a fan of Alaya, if you're a fan of like sweet, um, fruity, but rose fragrances that's light, airy, and fresh, you're going to appreciate this. I believe this is going to thrive well in the spring and summer. Even now in the transitional phases from summer to fall, I think this is going to do really well. And I can't wait to wear her. Next one. So my next one, honey, this one here, 
This one is Louis Rouge. And let me just, give me one moment. I just want to make sure I have the right notes for you guys. One moment, I'm back. So this bottle is, and this one is dedicated to Paris. Um, Christian Louis dedicated this to Paris. And um, this has his iconic, let's just take it out. Oh my God, these bottles are heavy. Do you hear me? Heavy and gorgeous. But his iconic red bottom shoe is on the top. It's like it's on the top of the globe. I love this. It's so beautiful. This one, now when she first sprayed this one, I was like, mm, I don't know about it. She was like, but a lot of people love it because it has vanilla. Uh, 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 uh. Listen. Luby Kiss has cardamom. Vanilla and am I missing something? I'm missing a note. Let's see what this has in it. One moment. Okay, so it has, it has cardamom, iris, and vanilla in it. Now, on my hair right now, I'm like, Ugh, I don't know. Do I need to take, but let this thing dry down. If you are a lover of Prada Candy, that kind of like iris powdery undertone to it. If you like vanilla with a little bit of spice, but not too spicy, then you're gonna appreciate this. It's like a musky vanilla and the more it dies down, the better it smells. In fact, I plan on trying to layer these two together to see what it gives me, but I can't wait to wear this. And I think this is especially, especially going to work now in this season because it's transitional and it's the little spices that you get from the iris and the powderiness from the iris. I think it's going to do well in transition. So I'm probably going to wear this a lot throughout the fall. So these are my two new additions to my collection. And do these stay or slay? These are a slay. I absolutely, absolutely positively enjoy these two. Now, Lastly, for the big freaking reveal, okay? Listen, you guys know that I'm a fan of Donna Born and Roma. Before the hype came out, just before COVID, I was on it, okay? Um, but a lot of people weren't talking about it because COVID was here. People weren't wearing it. Listen, Donna Born and Roma original is one of my faves. I have the intense version. I have the green extravaganza version. I have the pink version, the one in the pink bottle that was released during the Barbie movie. I have that. I have... Um, now this added to the collection, which is Donna Born in Roma, the gold. Now this is a special edition um, that came out. And supposedly this is just a little twist on it. So my friend, she bought it and was like, girl, you gotta, I went to go to Sephora to go smell it. They didn't have it in store, so I had them ship it. And I'm gonna open it on the phone with you. So shout out to you, Mo, Dr. Scott. We were on the phone and she was like, oh, you need to get it. It got a little coconut. It's, it has the DNA of Born in Roma, but it has coconut in it. So you and I, together, we're going to do this together. We're going to see what this smells like and unbox it together. So this was a 3.4 fluid ounce. It was on sale for, not on sale. The cost was it was 160 something. I don't know. Okay. So we're going to see, okay, what this is about. Okay? Okay. All right. So let's see. Here we go. First of all, look at this gorgeous bottle, people. You see that? Baby. So the bottle is, it's like a, I don't know if the liquid is itself is like a, like a champagne, like a champagne color, or if it's the bottle, but it's gorgeous with the gold, the typical Valentino um, bottle with the gold accents on it. It's stunning. All right, so we're going to see y'all. Okay, here we go. Okay. Look at the atomizer. It's very nice atomizer. Oh, it's cold my eye gel. It's reminding me of something. So let's read the notes. Yes. It has mandarin, gardenia, and coconut. 
Yeah. So it's amazing how they released this now so late after summer is about to be over. This right here, I feel like they could have skipped the green extravaganza and they should have just came out with this. If you like Alien Goddess, Alien Goddess had a little something extra in it that I did not like. And I don't know what it was. And mind you, I had a, I bought a bottle of it and I have a bottle of it. It reminds me of along the lines of that. But it has the Born in Roma DNA with some coconut and some brightness to it. So I'm going to spray this here on my skin. Yep, love it. Mm -hmm. Take y'all part in that interruption. So this is a sleigh. I don't know why they didn't. Why did if you have the original Born in Roma with a splash of coconut, why didn't they release this instead of the green? I don't know why they did that because this is the one and the two and the three and the four and the five. This is gonna be yo. If they have released this in summer, amazing. If you love Born in Roma, if you are a fan of Valentino, you're gonna absolutely love this. This is very very nice. If you took Kali's, um, what's that called? And I have that too. It's in a gold bottle, and you mixed it with a little Born in Roma and added a little Mandarin to it. This is what you got. Go on ahead, go ahead, and go run and go get you this. This was the wrong season to release this though. They should have released this beginning of summer. Amazing. In fact, you probably need to go to your backup bottle because this this ain't gonna be there for long. Okay, so thank you guys all you all you guys for tuning in. That is my birthday haul that I've done. I have a few more fragrances that I want to haul. I'll bring it to you. Um, thank you for tuning in to another episode of What's New Wednesday. And if y'all don't get anything from what I what I just told y'all, y'all need to get these. If your budget can do it, if your budget can do a Christian lube, both of them smell good. This one really really sweet. However, if you want something to transition for fall, this is the one right here, okay? As always, stay elevated, stay humble, stay beautiful, and stay blessed.